Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my monthly view and my notes pages for the month of August. And I'm going to be using this beautiful kit from Paper Sheet Plans. So this is just a little sample that it came with. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I thought I'd bring it out. I then have the bills sheet. Then you've got your monthly view. I love the kind of post vibes, it's so cute. You then have extra full boxes, your headers and some deco. Then you've got your boxes, check boxes. And then these are your notes pages. So of course, as always, I have my little whiteout to get rid of the design already there. And then this is what goes over the front. I love the girl, love the colors and then these are your notes pages boxes so let's get right on into it i'm going to take my paper clip off and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to flip to july to show you what last month turned out to be so on this side i have my little monthly overview as you will every day or sometimes i group days together i would write a positive thing that happened or something i wanted to remember I have a couple of little boxes that I want to fill in that I haven't done yet, but overall I've filled out most of it. I then had my important next month, monthly goals for YouTube and Instagram, and then a little spending overview at the bottom. I think I'm going to keep the same layout for this month. I really enjoyed it. This with my monthly view. As you can see, this is where I track all of my spending and i do put in some things that are happening but not many i tend to keep them just for my daily planning just something that's really important i want to note down and then it'll go into my budget so let's flip to august so as you can see i have not started my monthly view but i have set up my august budget video if you have not seen that video i'll leave it in the link up above you can check that out but let's get started on our monthly view. So I'm going to flip it as always upside down as I find that easier to get things stuck down. So we're going to take this box first. Actually, I think this is a full, oh, that's a big box to cover up the dates that are not in the month. So we have to be really careful with this box. As you can see, I'm not very careful. Luckily, these stickers are pretty removable. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty straight. You can see it a little bit through, but I'm not that bothered about it. We flip over and we take the next one. Super, and then it does also come with an extra double box to cover the dates that are not in the month. So let's get them down as well. Perfect. Open that up. That is what it's looking like. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Before I put the date dots down, I'm actually going to take my full boxes and put them down first. I just like to randomly pop them different places. So let's pop all of these down. Go for one here, one here. It's kind of no method to my madness here. I just like to pop them in different places throughout the month. give it something extra. I usually like to make sure that there's two on either side. If it comes with four boxes. Yeah, I 
like that. So next thing I'm going to do, in fact, did I last month put, yes, I did. So let's put our blue washi down the bottom. I always forget that the new Erin Condren has a little line down the bottom. As mine is the 2019, it does not have it. But I still like to try and get the glitter on the bottom. I always make a mess of it. But I will try my best. Kind of straight. <laughs> not too bad. We're getting better. And then... And that's it. Yeah, perfect. So, next I'm going to do is I'm going to pop down all of the date dots. I'm going to do that really quickly and just put some music over it because it does take me a long time. So once I've done that, I will be right back. I do. I don't know how to forget you. down so next we have to do the sidebar before I get into any plans so let's take uh, this month at the top uh, Let's do the blue. In fact, let's flip it upside down because you know how bad I am at trying to get things straight. Um, then let's do important. Kind of coral pink, I guess. So I call it. Then we'll have events. And last but not least, we'll have a to-do. This is maybe the straightest that I have been able to keep my sidebar. So that's the sidebar all done, as you can see. So let's get on to the plans of the month so this is last month's view so i'm just going to take the bills from there because they will be the same this month so i have a bill on the first and the second of every month so a bill on the first and a bill on the second
my next bell will be on the 7th and then I have one on the 15th so the 7th the 15th Seventh, the fifteenth, the eighteenth, twenty eighth, the twenty fourth. So eighteenth, twenty eighth, and the twenty fourth. I hate these little boxes because you get nothing in them. Let's flip back to June actually because I can't remember when my Stitch Fix comes out. Did I write it down? No, I didn't. It's not very good. I wish I wrote it down when it was due, but that's fine I can deal with that so I actually think my such fix I'm due to have it the 23rd so I'm going to make a guess that it's going to come out here and I'm going to put in an extra one on the 14th because that is when our first deposit of our house is built I'm super excited things are starting to get underway um things are starting the planning permission's been approved so they can start building which is great so we've got that so let me just pull out my budgeting stickers so that is when our first deposit of 500 pounds is has to be paid so Belgers. So let's put these down. As always, these are from the GP Studio. I love having the little scraps instead of just the white. I think it helps it stand out more to remind me <laughs> you have something to pay. So I'm going to pop these down on every bell. I actually need to get more of these if you can see about halfway done but i use quite a lot every month so next time i get these i may pick up two sheets i think it'll be okay to go until september before picking some up so that may be something i have to write on my wish list for next month i've started to do that to try and help with overspending so I write a little wish list of what I need to get and then I write a little wish list of what I would like to get and we kind of go from there so let's check so the first is my rent so I'd like to put a little house um the 24th is my car yep and then did I put in yeah I put in my PV with a flag last time so let's get this so it'll be the last Thursday it will be the 27th that I get paid so I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to use one of these little scripts for payday. Super. Okay, so let's get started on events. So I'm going to put down both these first. So the 18th is my little cousin's birthday. The 30th is my friend's birthday. And I'm also going to put a box down on this Saturday. 
to mark something exciting there will be a video coming up soon if you have not already noticed it so let's put that i have disney balloons i'm pretty sure i have yes i do i have little disney balloons so let's use them for marking birthdays oh they're so pretty and they kind of, they kind of go with a spread the pink and the light blue and the dark blue put them down there super and this one i'm going to mark it with a heart I think that's all I want to add in. I don't think, in fact, I've got one more box left. Oh, I'm sorry if the lighting is just went. I am using natural lighting and it is sunny, but I think it's coming and going. I want to add one on the 14th. I do have an interview that day for a job, which is exciting. So let's take the asterisk, put that down. But I think that's my monthly all done. So if you can see, I've only got one flag left on that page, which is good. I don't tend to use quite a lot of this page, but it doesn't really bother me. And then I do have some deco left over. Did I use the deco last month? Yes, I did. Let's pop some up the top. And I'll cut it off. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll cut off the excess there. That's pretty. And then I've got little bits that I can add throughout. I'm not going to add all of it but i'm just going to add a couple of bits up the top all the bubble mailers i love them and then the little pen oh and the coffee let's add that where could that go? Right here. Yeah. I think that's me. So, I love the way this spread has turned out. I'm just going to see if I can rip this off. Otherwise, I'll wait till I get the scissors. But I should be able to just yeah, rip it off with my little ruler. That's a trick for you if you don't have a pair of scissors handy or an exacto knife. Just use a kind of flat surface and you will get most of it up. Perfect. So that's that all done. I love the way it turned out. So let's move on to our notes pages. So be here. So let's put down our white sticker first. This is the one I always panic about in case I get it wrong because it's super hard to get up. So you kind of have to be very precise. Perfect. And then let's put down this beautiful graphic and try and get it in the same but kind of a bubble in it but it's fine I can deal with that lovely and then let's pop all the deco round about it I love having these little pages and then having the monthly view match. It just really makes me motivated to go into this planner. And that's what I need. I know that some people ask, why do you need to buy stickers in order to 
budget if you're trying to save money but actually having something that looks nice motivates me to do it so the fact that i can go into my planner and see this spread and how pretty it is and how it all matches it just motivates me even more to open it up and budget plan and make sure i'm on track whereas just pen and paper it doesn't it doesn't do it for me it doesn't motivate me enough so this is what works for me but you do what works for you if just pen and paper you can motivate yourself to do it then definitely do that and get yourself on track to start saving but also everyone's money is different you some people want to save a lot of money some people want to pay off debt some people just want to watch what they're spending and keep track of it so it's all very personal to you so that's why if one budgeting style doesn't work for you i like to take ideas from it and then go with what works for me but that is the cover page it's absolutely gorgeous i do do this every month so as you can see that's July's, June's and May's. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. So let's move on to our dashboard. So I'm going to start over here. And just put down my little glitter to break it up. That is what I did. Yeah, that's what I did last month. So let's get this down. And this is where, this side is where I like to put my little sentence a day or a group some days together. So you'll see that in future videos I do update you, um, usually within weekly check-ins or if you'd like me to wait until the very end and update you then, I can do that also. I just think it's a great idea, I can look back at the months and see what my highlights were. Okay, let's move on to this dashboard page. So put the August up first. Perfect. And then we have this big box. Let's turn this over actually. And try and make sure that it is straight. Pretty good. <laughs> not been too bad today with wonky stickers. I hope I've not just jinxed myself. <laughs> and then the big box is always the hardest. Do. and I have to kind of just eyeball it not too bad so that is that there I'm going to put the little stamps up here just for added decoration I love how even this page has a little bit of deco. I think it all ties together quite nicely. So let's look back to last month and see what the headers were that I liked. So we had important next month, monthly goals and spending. So let's put our next month up the top. Our important was on this one. 
month goals was on this one and spending down the bottom. Perfect. I love the way that looks. So my monthly goals are usually for my YouTube and my Instagram. Yeah, so let's do YouTube and then we have current and end of month. And then we have Instagram. Current and end of month. So I can't think off the top of my head what my Instagram current is, but I know my YouTube is 186. So by the end of the month, I would like to have 200, which is crazy to me, 200 subscribers, but I'm hoping that I can do it. Next month, I'm not sure if I used the little dots or not. Yeah, I just used them as little asterisks. So next month, I have my nephew's birthday. And then I also have my dad's birthday. That's all I can think of right now. Important is to return our house forms. We have to choose what flooring and everything we would like in our new house. I have an interview this month. That is on the 14th. So cross your fingers for me, wish me luck. And then we have to pay deposit. So that should be everything for an important that I can think of right now. I write all my dates off camera, but just an overview of my monthly and notes pages. This will be where I write my sentence of the day, anything positive that's happened or something I want to remember. My dashboard, so I have my important, my next month, monthly goals and spending. I will update you on my Instagram goals if you're interested. We then have my monthly view. I absolutely love it. And then we go on to my budget. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you what you liked about this. Um, if you like the idea of writing a sentence every day or what you would use this page for. And if you have not already or if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and help me get to my goal of 200 for the month of August. And thank you again for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Have a magical day. Bye.